Hi everyone, welcome to a brand new video. Um, today's video is going to be something very different on this channel. It's a baby haul, um, everything I've bought till now basically. Um, currently in starting the third trimester, I am seven months pregnant, which is crazy to think about it. Um, got last three months to go, I guess, because um, she's due very first week of December so she is due anytime and she can obviously come early as well which is something that I need to think about and hence why there's a massive pile of things around me right now. I um, wanted to film this video because I obviously want to be able to look back on and maybe share with you guys what I got and what I picked up. If you hear anything out of the ordinary I need to lower the brightness because there's the sun and it changes the whole layout so above me is the AC hence why I'm here because I need to stay cool on this side is a large window balcony which is probably why I have to arrange there we go the brightness every now and again sorry about that and I thought I will just dive in into the lovely stuff that we got for our little girl so thought start off with the clothing because I think that's probably the easiest thing I can go through and then move on to the equipment, bath stuff, changing stuff, it's anything that we got for the first baby that we are having. So starting off with basics, um, we have a place called Mother Care here which is basically your go-to when it comes to baby stuff. So we did get a couple of things and we also get given um, a book when you go and sign sign up sign in at the hospital which is um, basically everything that you need to know about motherhood and fatherhood and everything um, I also printed out um, a copy of the back sheet which is like it helps you prefer, prepare for your hospital bag what you need for yourself what the baby would need um, suggestions for the nursery literally everything so I actually printed this um, I don't tick on this, I actually have the actual same thing on my phone and I tick on, the, on a note like checklist. But again, I like to keep this handy because certain things I wouldn't know because obviously again, new mum here, so that's that. But I thought I'd start off with the clothing because there's a lot of clothing or there might not be a lot of clothing, I don't know if I have a lot. But I just try to get essential things that I know I need for her at least for the hospital bag and when I go into labour, which is, um, that's the only thing I'm petrified about, if I had to be honest, is the labour part. Everything else I'm fine, like my pregnancy, I've now started getting like lots of back aches and very uncomfortable to sleep in here and there. But I could say it was a plain sailing kind of pregnancy. Till now, I did have a bit of nausea in the beginning. Um, but apart from that, I think I'm fine. So starting off, um, new baby stuff. I do have vests, which um, are good for, I guess, anything to do with, since she's a December baby, definitely need vests. So I've got those. Um, sleep suits, again, very recommended because, again, it's a December baby, so she needs to be totally, totally covered. Um, we then have some sleep suits. Now these were a very good deal. Marks and Spencer here do not have baby stuff but for some reason we went in and they had a baby section which was I would say gone within two weeks. That's that's how crazy it is but they were really good prices like this is three organic cotton and from 19 euros they were reduced to 570 which is quite a bargain especially with babies and you know, it's everything's, every, they will just grow out with them so quickly as well. So again, I got another set. This was a three to six. I'm trying to change up the month because I don't want to get too many newborn stuff. Again, 570, which is great. Um, they also had short sleeve ones, which I kind of prepared myself for the summertime, but I did get them in the nine to 12 um, age group because I'm not sure how big she'll be. So again, you're thinking outside the box and you're trying to think ahead of time and I did get 12 to 18 months um, sleep suits as well because they're again really cute designs and very good price a bargain of 6 euros instead of 20 euros so you're trying to think outside the box trying to get as much things 
and I'm trying to mix up the age groups as well, which is very handy. Um, I did buy these. These are body suits. These are long sleeves, but they don't have the sleep suits. These were from Zara. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to show up. There you go. Um, these are some Zara, and they are missing two because this is what I used um, to um, advise my mum. My mom, my mom and dad, my parents and Ryan's parents, and there was two missing because we kind of wrapped them up. A um, bit sentimental because since his mom passed away just about a month and a half ago, hers is actually in my study, still kind of wrapped up neatly, which I kind of don't want to touch because it's like that's one thing that she kind of held, um, which I do want to at least just get a photo of her in that suit and just put it away it's just so sentimental that i just want to give it to her eventually when she's old enough to know that this was a, this was one thing that your nana kind of held on to and she was so excited to have a grandchild so it's very very it's a lot at the moment with her being gone because she was amazing but anywho next thing okay so scratch mitts got plain ones plain white ones and i also got these really cute design ones which are really cute let's see what else oh we got hats you were told we need hats because obviously born in december they need hats so i've got plain white ones i got these cute designs that kind of match the mittens and i do have a matching set these are really cute so this one is with ears and then they've got the matching socks which are cute and then I do have the matching set so let me go into the clothing that I have on hangers because I've got a couple here and I've got the Lindex set that matches which is this one so this is totally gorgeous and it's got like the cute little cat so this was really cute. This is um, a baby UK one to two months. Now, if she does not fit in this one, we did get a newborn set from Marks and Spencers, which is similar, which is again a cat version. And this one has a two piece set. So there's this pink one or the spotty one. And these ones have zips, which I liked. So I thought this would be handy. Um, apart from your normal kind of button ones and these were 11 euros for the two no they were 660 for the two so again bargain and very happy with those and we have born in 2021 again obviously you need to get that one because me and three other friends are all pregnant and they're all going to be born in 2021 so I feel like we all got the same one from mother care which is great and um, I did get a six to nine months uh, set here which has shorts rather than your body shoots and this one says mommy and daddy uh, daddy's sweet honey bee which I thought was really cute and it has bees in the second one I just thought it was really cute and something different um, as you can see I tend to switch up the switch up the sizes but then um, Lindex had a really good sale which is the place in Bay Street um, most of their, um, a lot of them were reduced to like 2 euros, some were reduced to 3 euros, which is really, really good. So I got some like uh, 1 to 2 months, like little baby girls, but obviously you'd need like tights or something because obviously she's going to be cold. And um, these don't have the sleep suits, so this was just really cute to get. So I got some lemon ones, we have spots, cream with spots cats because obviously i'm a cat person we found one that says i love daddy did not find one i love mommy but then went again and i found this one at mns so i got one that says i love mommy so i really wanted one that said i love mommy because i couldn't find many ones that said that and um, then we actually found these really cute ones from kiabi which were just four euros um which again are sleep suits with their little um, cute little like booties and they have the, these at the back so you can like open them from the back and this one says daddy's princess in pink did not find a mommy's princess but hey ho 
apparently dads have a thing with girls. Um, Aristocats, Marie from Disney, my favourite character, so I had to get her. And I also got a large, this is for one year, um, a Simba, little um, top and bottoms. I'm a big fan of Simba, have always been since probably the age of two. So again, trying to make sure that my little one gets into Disney as much as I do. Um, we do have a little gift from his sister. She went abroad and got this really cute little set. So it's a really cute long sleeve top and cute little bottoms, which I think is adorable. And these are for six months, if I'm not mistaken. So going into summertime. So hopefully she'll be able to get into them alongside everything else that we probably will be spoiling her with when she does come. So that is mainly all the, yes, clothing. And let's move on to another section. Okay, now moving on to feeding. Um, I personally, I'm not going to be breastfeeding, just personal, personal preference. Um, so I'll be giving her formula and everything. And here in Malta, a lot of people have been talking about the Suavanex brand, which again, is all I've been hearing about, which is great. Um, there are a lot of different types and brands, obviously, at the moment. But um, I do like the aesthetic of the Suavanex Care. So I picked up the Zero Zero Suavanex um, anti-colic bottles, which come like this. Let me get one out for you so I can show you. I couldn't find many English-speaking um, about these at all. So on YouTube. So this is what they look like. I really, really like them. Um, let me just open one. Let me see. There we go. I just really like the dummy part, whatever you want to call that. It's a bit different. Um, and I just love the aesthetic. I find this looks very clean. Um, there were some other ones that were either too plain or they had like animal prints on them. And I just feel that animal prints or anything that's printed on bottles get ruined over time and I just more I'm just more of an aesthetic kind of person that likes clean things so this is why I went with them um, and what it says on here is it mimics the um, glands during nursing so the like little dummy kind of mix it so let me just show you here so there you go. So it's the the they were probably very popular even abroad. I need to get back in focus. There we go. So they're very popular abroad. I don't know much. I'm going to be very very honest up with you. Everything's so new. Like there's something down here which is cute. I don't know what that is. Again, it's first time being a mother, so everything is really new to me. But I did get three of the 180 ml bottles and I also picked up the um, 270 ml bottles so apparently what my mom was telling me again I am I'm not an expert at all mom told me that in the beginning they don't drink that much but then eventually they'll be drinking more so you would need bigger bottles and there wasn't a particular set that I liked because I liked this kind of peachy neutral kind of color so I got them separately um so I didn't buy a set but apparently in se most sets you get three small ones and three big ones so I kind of mimicked that kind of thing um I did get one kind of set which is this um where you get a 180 mil which means I got th I got two of the small ones individually because I knew I got one in here and this one is a replacement bottle which my mom told me I could use for like water or anything eventually so because there's no um sticker with the mills on it so she'll can probably just use it for like other things so that's why I got one of those rather than getting one more like that because I just wanted to be able to like measure so I thought that would be better and I did pick up two packets of the Suavanex uh, these are the slow flow teeth um, I was hearing a lot of, about these in a Facebook group that I am at the moment in. Apparently it's better and it's slower for them when they're feeding. And again, 
I am no expert. I have no idea. I was really frustrated when it came to bottles and choosing the bottles and knowing which ones I need for formula. My mom obviously said that she it's been so long since obviously she's seen all the new equipment so it was very very frustrating for me even for my mom to know which ones to go for but I go for aesthetic wise and I like clean and I went for the Swabinex. So let me just pop this back in here so we can go on to the next. Now I did ask, I was in store, these I picked them up from um, Mother Care here in Malta but you can also pick these up if I'm not mistaken from Tangelina which is in a Maria Hill. I know they have the Swabinex brand because I bought some stuff of Swabinex from them before and I asked her what kind of sterilizer I can get for these particular brand because this product with there isn't at least from what I saw at Mothercare, I couldn't see an actual brand, the Swabinex kind of sterilizer. So I know, I think there is one abroad because I think I googled it, but they don't have one here in Malta. So she recommended the Tommy Tippy uh, Super Steam Advanced Electric Sterilizer, which is to protect your baby's tummy from harmful bacteria. So let me see, I'm going to show this to you, which is this. So that's that one. Um, they did have a box which had all the equipment in. And I personally didn't like the bottles. So I was like, to my mom, like for that extra 100 euros, I'd rather not get it. And um, this was 79.99 for mother care. And it comes with the advanced electric steam sterilizer, integrated drying rack, anytime soother zero to six months and tongs so, again not that advanced if you do want a review on this eventually let me know and i will try i was doing a review when the baby does actually occur and you know more information but this is what it looks like i'm gonna try and bend so you guys can see it yeah um as i said very very new did not much about it but eventually I will so I'll be able to give you a review on it so that's what happens when you have when you're like literally blind and you just don't know anything about what you're buying but you just know you have to buy them that's how I am at the moment so it's very very frustrating because normally I do all my research and stuff like that but for some reason just when it comes to babies, I know nothing. Um, what the good thing was, was I actually did go on TikTok and I Google and I wrote Swabinex to find tags, and I did find a mummy using the sterilizer for these, for these bottles. So that was a good thing. So sometimes you find stuff on TikTok you wouldn't actually think you'd find. So that is the feeding things that I have at the moment. I don't have any formula or anything at the moment. I haven't started buying any of that at the moment. Um, I know at the hospital at the moment they're giving out Aptamel, which my mom said that's what she gave us, me and my sister. So that's interesting. Um, I know there's all these different types of food you can give them. But again, I will try Aptamel as well if that's what they give them at the hospital and then go from there. My mom said that's all we had, so we'll go from there. So let's move on to another section of this haul. Okay, let's go on to the next segment, which is basically stuff for the changing slash um, bedroom things, nursery kind of things. Um, the first thing that I obviously bought, what I was looking for, this first thing I went into mother care for, was this Tommy Tippy um, twist and click bin. Now this, I would say, was an impulse buy because I saw this on this Facebook group that I'm on, which is like the 1021 babies, baby mamas to be, something like that. It's a Maltese Facebook group. And everyone raved about this little bin, which apparently you twist and click. And when you put your nappy bags in it, it's kind of, I don't know how to explain it, but it twists so quick like that. So they're all like twisted. And I just thought it was amazing. And what they meant, they, they actually said is it doesn't smell. And obviously you don't want any poopy smells in the, in the bedroom. So 
I got a pink one. So let me open it for you guys to show you. Um, I know you can buy refills as well. We saw the refill system. Um, a refill, this was 32 99 and you get one like twist and click thing. But you can buy refills and you get three packs. And that is about 24 euros if I saw correctly. I was going to get a refill but my mom's like, we are not carrying all this stuff with us because we had my car was a bit far. So she said, just leave it there and then we'll come back. We'll, we'll come back another time. So we're definitely going again to buy some more stuff because I don't have everything yet. So let me just put this on the floor so I can show you what it looks like. Um, it's very pink. So pink and this is. Getting there. So I'm guessing oops. there's the bin. It's a pink bin and <laughs> it's massive. It's cute. It would go so well in my study, being very honest with you, because the aesthetic is just there. And it's the perfect pink shade for my my study. Um but I did get it pink. Now if I do have a boy in the future and I have another another baby it's gonna have to live with the pink bun i'm so sorry in advance <laughs> i'm so sorry but yeah so when it comes to colors there was a pink i think or like a minty color i thought they had like a gray one but they didn't probably didn't have it in stock or they did have i just did not see it so that's that i did get some nappy bags from tangelina um these ones are fragrant so they help eliminate odors and they tie handles. Now these are by the brand, if I'm seeing here, Mucky Pups for grubby kids. So you get 200 nappy bags in here and I have three packets because I feel like I'm gonna run out of these and I'm gonna use a lot of them. So I did get three packets because you just never know. Um, I was reading a lot about the Aqua Wipes. Um, these ones are non-fragrance and they're 99.6 purified water, biodegradable, plastic free and the kindest baby wipes for nature, from nature. So these you get 64 wipes and they don't expire to 2023. So my mom was like just start getting some and putting them away. I like to keep them upside down so the liquid penetrates downwards. So the first one that you always get when you open them tends to be moisturized or like has most moisture so that's a tip for me if it's with my makeup wipes I always turn them round so upside down and then when I come to use them turn them on and get one up so that's an idea for you guys if you're interested um I did get some shampoo and lotion for the baby now i have an obsession with honest beauty which is by jessica alba and she has an amazing an amazing company full of stuff she has home detergents beauty skincare baby stuff and i really want to get her baby shampoo um which my sister's gonna be going abroad and she's going to england and they are available at boots so these might change but I wanted to get them so I have them or I have them with me. So I did go when I was at Tangerina yesterday I did buy the Suavanex brand. Um this is cleansing gel shampoo. Um this was 11 99 for 11 for 500 mils. There was um a little travel set which you'll get I think 100 mils of each of these and the nappy cream for 25 euros. I thought it's handy, but I didn't think it was worth the buck, so I just went for the larger size and I just decant them in travel, little travel bottles for the um, birth of the baby, so that's just me. So this one is, um, it cleanses delicate skin and hair with Kanduk, Calendula, Extract and Pro Vitamin B5. It's soap free formula and tear free and it's suitable for sensitive skin. Now I have very bad, I've got, I've got, um, I won't say bad sensitive skin, but I just have sensitive skin. So if she turns out like me, 
this is the way to go. So, um, and it's clinically tested under dermatological um, and all sorts. Um, it's 88% ingredients of natural origin. Again, I always like to look for clean um, fragrance or clean skincare and body and everything. Um, I then did get the moisturizing lotion, which is this one. Again, $12.99, suitable for sensitive skin, nourishes the skin deep down with the calendula extract, very light texture, and again, 90% of the ingredients are from natural origin, which is what we like to see, and bio-based container, which is, means you can recycle the container, which is great, can't complain. Um, I did get nappy cream. Apparently there was an intensive one, which I don't know if I needed or not, so I just didn't get that one. I just got the basic nappy cream, which is this one. So apparently you just need it. So I just got it. Again, I can't really tell you much about it because uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's one of those things when you just really don't know. Um, I did get these maternity um disposable maternity briefs you guys it's just stuff that you need to get i guess um i don't i didn't buy any maternity pads yet but i know i have to get them and uh, it's just the natural things of looking forward to getting your period again i don't know how i feel about that because i had a regular period and i don't know how i feel about getting it again i've been enjoying not having the period but then I feel like I've, I've been getting the cramps for it for sure. <laughs> um, I did get breast pads. Um, now since I'm not going to be breastfeeding, it's still going to be leaking. So I got a couple of these. I don't know if I have enough. This has 30 extra thin breast pads. I'm not sure if they're good to be extra thin. I just picked up the first ones I found, to be very honest with you. Um, I know I'm going to be prescribed to something to help stop the production of the breast liquid whatever you want to call it but because I spoke to my gynae about it and she advised she'll prescribe me to something um something that my mom took as well at the time so normal things that happen when you're not doing something you're doing something different okay next detergent now I'm a Lenore junkie so I had to go with the Lenore sensitive baby this smells so nice and oh, i love it i don't know there was all these different ones i know people like the chico one i think it's called and there's the fairy baby i wasn't a fan of the fairy one personally it smells very really nice don't get me wrong but it's something about lenore that i just love so I don't know, if someone had to give me a fairy one, I would use it definitely. And I probably smell it will probably smell much different than how I smell it from the bottle because when you smell it from the bottle, it's very, very intense. Hey ho, that's what you get. So let's move on to other things that are not to do with nappies, I guess. <laughs> okay, flannels. My mom told me to get these flannels because they're color coded and she kind of said it'd be better if she has her own flannels and especially to wash her and everything. We haven't got the bath yet. We are going to get it probably next time or when I'm with Brian so we can like actually put it in the car and not be like two, one pregnant lady and one, you know, trying to go around with a big bath. But anyways, um, I still need to get the bath because our bath is a standalone like deep bath and I don't think I'm going to be you washing her in that i just feel like it's gonna be too deep so we need to get her own little bath that'd be so cute to use and um, so i got the flannel which i thought was really cute and um, this is actually the first present that we got from my mom um and it's a really cute towel what's it called is it just a, called a towel probably and this is from zara and it's the towel with like you know where you can put the head and it's just really cute uh, this is the first thing we got when we went to my mum's actually and um, I gave her the paper so she can tell us what what we were having so we kind of left it suspense until we went to her house for her to tell us what we're having so that's that. Um, okay we can go into these. We do have muslin packs which are 
bear things. I just thought these were so adorable. And I just got some plain grey and white ones as well. These are sticks. I used to love my muslins when I was tiny. Um, I didn't leave the house without them. So I wanted to make sure I have a couple for my little one because I feel like you never know. Um, let's see what else. I got some hangers. I got white ones because I didn't want to get coloured ones because I felt like if there was another baby along the way a couple of years from now, you're not going to have pink if it's a boy or, you know, if it's, you know what I mean? And I like white ones, so I thought these will be handy to have. So I got two packs of those. Um, I did get a nappy changer. I think this is what it was called. Yeah. Nappy changer from um, Ikea, which is a grey spotted one. And um, it's called Len. You guys can see that. Let's see that comes from there we go. So it's just a nappy changer, just quite a simple one. Just because you know, I might get an actual like nappy changer, which is cute because I got, I just found a really cute one with like bears and elephants. But you just handy to have one of these just in case maybe when we go out and I need to change her. And from the same line, which is Len, I got this cute little blanket. It's 70 by 90. Um, very cheap. And it kind of goes, it's just like, it's a slightly lighter grey with the spots. Again, I love like anything clean and, you know, not over the top. Um, I did find this cute little blanket, which was pink. And it was only 880. It's called, it's from the brand Baby Town, which was found at um, Tangelina. And they had lots of different colours. They had this pink, they had a grey, white, blue, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure if there was a mint colour. And the sizing is 70 by 90 as well. So it's the same size as this one. There were two different sizes. There was a larger one, which I think is 110 instead of 90. So they were larger. But I just love the softness of them. They're so cute. And you can't go wrong with pink. Um, I might get the white one next time I go. Because I like neutrals and I like having white. Can you tell? I love white. Like even the top I'm wearing says Baby Mama. It's from ASOS if you're interested. They might. It was on. I'm not sure if it was on sale. So you might be able to still find it. So putting it out there. I thought it was a cute. Lovely cute top. So let's see. Let's do these. Okay. These again. Same brand. Same Ikea place. Then I got some. These are what? mattress covers yes i got the pink and white ones again i got them for to match my mattress which is i will go and show you guys soon see if i can see it it's the 60 by one to row so got those did get a mattress protector as well because i think it's just handy to have and this is lennis so if you guys are interested that is what it's called so it's just a mattress um protector again 60 by 112 like getting those um and the same name i got the cute white spotted with the gray spotted uh, mattress covers as well as the gray with the moons again as you can tell very neutral love it it's just me okay we did get more dry towels oh three cuddle and dry towels and these are pandas my mom loves pandas so we literally went for these and they're the white and gray thought they'd be cute um especially to dry her off when we were drying her here um we got some dummies um again we got one pink one which i thought was adorable again with the cat we love cats um and then i got neutral ones which are the white and gray um, my mum said that we, we, we adored our dummies, so I'm hoping um, we'll be able to get her onto them. And I've just got a holder as well, which is just says Spread Joy, which is, again, a neutral colour. As you can see, it's like a yellowy kind of colour. It's really cute. You just put your, I'm guessing you just put your dummy in there and you're good to go. So, basic stuff. Basic stuff. Oh, and then we found this. Um, they have a bear section, which is 
it called Little Unloved and I literally am obsessed with the range from Mother Care of this just a really cute neutral um, bear themed and um, if you I'll show you the um, what I have done till now in the nursery bedroom for her it's literally white and wood themed so this color really goes well with it so it's a set and um, you get the fitted sheets the fleece blanket the coverlet and a bumper I just think it's really cute um, and my mom just wanted to buy it for me I was like okay it's just really cute and really adorable and can't go wrong with the set so we saw this we had to get it um, so yeah we did did get that um, I also got the matching toy which I thought was adorable I don't know if this is going to be something that she can use straight away because I feel like it's gonna to be too big um, but I'm guessing when she's teething or something that she might want to buy on these I don't know I just thought it was adorable I just wish thought, I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of soft toys so Love it, love it. Okay, this is something that we actually got given when I had one of my scans appointments. They gave us a box of baby Lino sensitive, and I didn't know what it was. I, I'm gonna be honest, I had it like in this box for ages, but it looks like a PR kind of um, set. So let me show you. Dude. So I opened it recently, like literally about two, three days ago, and like, I couldn't believe what was in it. So you get a booklet, you get the Baby Lino Sensitive Diapers, this is the number two, so it's for mini for three to six kilos, um, let's see, you get Baby Sensitive Wipes, um, you get my favourite brand, you get wipes, the every, not wipes, pads, sorry, the Everyday Sensitive with Cotton, and these are the Maxi Night. Now these are my favourite pads. These are my favourite brands that I tend to use all the time. So having everyday, I never leak with the everyday. So I love them to bits. And there is also micellar water wipes. You get a five packs missing. This is like a little sample of them. I don't, I don't know why I never opened this. But there's a booklet with everything in it and all the different types. Of wipes and what they cater for and stuff so that was very handy to have um, a lot of the Maltese mummies like baby Lino and there's the thing it's either baby Lino or Pampers and um, I know there's the Pampers the newborn ones are very handy which I've been told to get which have they, I think they mark or something once they poop or pee or something like that and you'll know when you need to change the nappy so that's ideal for me so we'll be getting the pampers to start off with a new board and then maybe going into baby Lena. we're not sure exactly how that's going to work it depends on what she likes and what's easy and what works now I left the best for last so I'm going to show you what's the last thing that I have to show you okay so the last thing I want to show you is something for me and it is the mummy bag. Now this was bought from Candelina and this matches the pram that I bought. So I bought a pram, it's the Venici Gusto 2.0 in the Biscotti, which is basically a gorgeous, gorgeous um, nude pram. I'm gonna put you down because I feel like the, one second, let me lower, there we go with the brightness because the sun just came in so it's a gorgeous cream pram with black accents and it's got the gorgeous kind of caramel like handle if i can have a picture up if not i'll leave a link down below for you guys to see it and this matched it perfectly so i haven't really opened it i'm going to be very honest so i'll show you the picture on the little tag but it's basically this huge bag which you can take to um the hospital like a hospital bag for myself and stuff like that but let me show you there you go so there are different colors as well so I've got the cream with the caramel accents which is what I wanted again um, but there are different colors there's um, a blue there's the pink with the rose gold accents there's a black I know for sure and there's a blue um, it's from the brand child home I've seen them everywhere. It's about it was about hundred euros around about, and I thought it was handy, especially me being one me that likes to have everything in a bag. That's just me, and I also got a little baby bag, so it's baby necessities, which is adorably cute. 
need that as well. So I like this in matching. Because how can you not? And that was something that I wanted and that my mum bought for me. Um, again, my mum has been such a blessing in disguise. Um, she loved everything baby, I guess, and everything's exciting for her because she's going to be her grandparent for the first time. So yes, um, that's basically what I've bought till now. Um, I'm going to stop here and show you and go into the nursery and show you guys the nursery quickly. And um, we just have two furniture, two pieces of furniture at the moment. But I'll show you those and yeah, we'll end the video off there. So I thought I'd show you guys basically what we have at the moment. Um, so this is the cot that we got. Again, this is from Ikea. I really love the wood texture on this. I think it's just utterly gorgeous. And the little handles are so cute. Um, it has a little drawer. And I did keep the stuff there because apparently you can put this you can put it down eventually and you can also change the top this part here the front um i actually did put it at the bottom here so if i take this out um let me show you there is another piece here which can be turned into a bed so i kind of just hit it underneath as you can see this is a rug again from ikea which was mine but i have given it I don't know, I just think it looks really cute here. So that's the little cot. Um, as for mattress, I did go for the, there was three different types. I went for the second um, in the price range. I just didn't really understand much, I'm gonna be very honest. Um, I will try and leave a link to the name. I'm not sure if there's a name on here. Um, let me just see. No, there's no name, so I can't really tell you the name of it. But we just have it there ready. And this is the little chest of drawers. This is the Hemnes, I think. This is the um, eighth drawer set. For now, I just put some cute little things. I've washed these. My mum gave them to me. Um, this is mini and what's his name eel i think it's eel i'm not sure i just blanked for now um this is a painting that ryan had got me for my birthday so i just put it in there just for the sake of it these my dad got them for me from the station and it just says baby on board we have this is eel this is eel what am i saying i'm getting confused with the and this ticker so we love Tigger. So those are there. And this is a this is a little portrait that I got from England that has traveled with me and was five pounds from Wilco's at the time. Can't go wrong. And what's the best thing about them that I didn't know? I changed the handle knobs for these and they are the same exactly as those ones over there, just slightly darker. So they match. Amazing. So I did deck this, I did put these together myself. So me and baby did them, which is great. Um, I love the drawers. Oh, there's some stuff in here because I had, but I love this like little design pattern. Yeah, we've got some stuff in there. See? Currently, feel, I'm trying to see where everything's going to go, but I just love this pattern as you can see i love gray and i love neutral colors and i love the wood part so i think this is going to be handy to do um what i do need in here um we still kind of use this as storage so i'm trying not to show you the storage stuff that we have we have paint and there's a tv there's some lights for the um bathrooms and some tiling that we still haven't moved so it's not ready yet, like nowhere near get ready, um, and we don't have doors yet, so those should be coming soon, um, so we can like clean up. And I do need to get some kind of wardrobe for here to kind of plank her clothes because I don't know why I'm out of breath. I don't know why I'm out of breath. I don't know, but anyways, I'm out of breath. Sorry about that. So thought I'd show you guys the little 
nursery basically what we have to now is just literally two pieces of furniture being very honest with you so it's not much but it will do i just want to add something on the top for now and um, what we will be doing is we'll be getting like a changing mat here definitely i'm thinking of putting um, a mirror up here um just to bring some more light into this room because there's a window there um we actually this was a balcony we actually like closed it in it's where i do my washing and stuff and i feel like with a mirror this will brighten up the room more so i'm thinking of getting a mirror i was going to get a round one but i'm now thinking of getting um a rectangular longer one here so on an ikea I really liked it so i might get that one not sure the name but i'm still deciding um, and they got some new mirrors which i really really liked so i'm not sure yet which one i want to get so I'm thinking of getting a mirror here and we'll put the changing mat here and um, on the side I'm going to have like some essential things that I would definitely need like to change her nappy and stuff like that like those type of thing and um, the dolphin and stuff will go on the side and um, I kind of put it in the middle of these plugs because we have plugs and light there and then we do have more plugs there so I kind of Put that in the middle, I thought it would be good, ideal. And the cot is there. I'm not sure if we'll be moving this into my room eventually, into our room, um, especially when she's born. But I put it here just to have everything set up. I just thought it'd be cute to kind of get things sorted. And now I'm going to go get all the stuff that I just showed you and put them back into this drawer setting again because I took some stuff out to show you guys and need to set everything up again so hope you guys enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up if you did subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys in the next one have a lovely day wherever you're in the world and i'll see you shortly bye